Dad, come on, first three. Take line a couple of weeks ago. In the park, Willie's game of football had just been cancelled. All in all, a day when nothing much was going right for the citizens of Chiselton. While over at Super Granny Smith's, her latest batch of Edinburgh rock cakes had just turned out like... rocks. Meanwhile, two intriguing arrivals had hit town. Former top magician Ronald McDonald and his mother, Clinging Ivy. But what were they doing here? Essie, the great Ronaldo. That's my boy. It's been a long time, Mum. You're still great to me, Ronnie. Oh. Oh. You'll always be great to your darling, beloved mummy. Chiselton's in for a treat tonight, believe you me. What? Oh, darling, when you get up on that stage tonight, no one, repeat, no one, not even Super Gran herself, could hold a candle to your daring exploits. Oh, the button come off. Ronald, Mummy's talking, dear. You'll draw the crowds in, darling. Just like you used to in the old days. House full boards up, Boise. Yes, Mummy knows. Oh, love him. He's happy again. Well, still wobbly. <laughs> I'll soak it, darling. Don't fret. <laughs> Great Ronaldo, magic Ian. Huh! Not the magic Ian, little twerp. Don't show your ignorance. The great Ronaldo, magician. Look, here, he's coming now. The great Ronaldo. <laughs> Citizens of Chiseltown, Ronaldo is back. And now, for you and you alone, just a hint of my attraction. Here is an entirely empty hat. Empty, empty, empty. And for you, I will produce a one alive a rabbit. Oh, yes, you kids watch this. It's my favourite trick. It's fabulous. Come on, dear. Oh, <laughs> what a lot of rubbish. Don't be so rude. Mummy. Never mind. My bunny. Never you mind. It's gone. What, dear? The bunny. No. It was there. Doesn't it strike you? Was that Edison? What are you going on about now, Willie? This magic Ian bloke, the great Ronaldo. If he's so great, how come none of us have heard of him? <laughs> I mean, that poster's young sold for a start. Go on, Ronald. Go into your spiel. But, Mum... You can do this on your head. You can be great again, darling. You know you can. Go on and wow them. I say, watch this. It's my favourite. Go on, dear. Ladies and... And gentlemen. Gentlemen, I will now... Yes? ...attempt before your very eye... No, eyes, dear. Eyes? Yes. ...to saw this, this young lady here in... In half. In half. <laughs> Thank you. Now go on, dear. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Ronald. Ah. Ah. It's all right, dear. Mummy will find that up later. Thank you. You be Mummy's brave little soldier, eh? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine.
the left across it. Here, take a sip. It's medicinal. Blow your nose. It's no good, Mum. If I can't perform my delusion with a wooden when you hear, how am I going to do it with a real live person? Don't panic, Petal. No one can help me now. No one. Yes, of course I can. They must be. <coughs> Here, listen. What about super grain? Super grain? There was a time when I was a great magician, one super grain. He still is. Oh, I can't make nothing disappear anymore. I mean, everyone had heard of the great Ronaldo. They have now. Oh. And then what happened, Ronald? The fabulous O'Finnegan happened. The fabulous O'Finnegan, eh? Oh, I, I've heard of him. He was a veil imposter, super gran. Well, he'd been in the business, well, show business for years, and still languished at the bottom of the bill. Well, I think he was jealous of my success, super well, gran. Can you wonder? He's got no talent, and he knew it. Anyway, one night, I was just checking out my Houdini box, ready for the evening performance, when suddenly. <laughs> So Finnegan went on in my place. It was the beginning of a Finnegan success. He stole my act, my clothes, my everything. So when I got back from where I've been posted, His Eminence, the most magical of all our magicians, had withdrawn my permit to conjure. It's not fair, Super Gren. It simply isn't fair. That's why tonight's performance at the Chiselton Empire is so important, Super Grand. It's my last chance at a comeback. Yeah, well, you'll make it, darling. Won't he, Super Grand? You'll make showbiz history, will my Runel do? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's my, my last chance to become in the magician's inner circles again. <laughs> Superman helps m magician in his comeback. The old minch bags up to her good deeds as usual, eh? But who do we know who can put the Kai boss in a great Ronaldo's comeback, eh? <laughs> And somewhere in Ballypoachin, a phone rings. Hello? Is that the uh, fabulous O'Finnegan? Yes. Yes, this is himself. He's what? He's doing what? <laughs> in, in, in Chiselton, you say? Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will now attempt to make this person here, whom I have never met before, completely disapp disappear. Are you all right in there? Yes, dear. I'm lovely. Thank you, son. No, Mum, you're not supposed to know me, right? Oh, <laughs> I'll keep forgetting. I beg your pardon, Nick, son. Come on, Del. You never got me, did you? And now, finish. There, voila. Hello, son. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Mum, you're supposed to have vanished. You're still here. And here, Ronaldo's 500-year-old voodoo box with silken handkerchiefs, which I attempt to make disappear. Oh, I can't bear to watch. Just look at the poor kid, Super Gran. He's never got his proper conference back, not since that terrible night with old Finnegan. Mm. And if he doesn't improve his act, he's not going to get his full magicianship back either, Clinging Ivy. Well, that's right. Isn't there anything you could do, Super Gran? <laughs> Edison, that new invention of your granddad's. Which invention, Super Grand? The manual hypnotizer. It worked a fair treat for Super Chat. Perhaps it would work for wee Ronald McDonald here. You mean... Oh, come on, lassie, we've no moment to lose. And so, to the big night. Why do you have to go to the theatre tonight, Umbrell? Because tonight we'll see that minge bag meter Waterloo. Waterloo bus? I thought it said it was a theatre, not a railway station. Oh, come on. Very smart, Dustin. I said, come on. At night, my knees are like great bobbly jellies. Well, you just have to, Ronald. The elite of Chiselton will be out there tonight to watch the great Ronaldo perform once more. Remember Daddy's showbiz motto? What was it Daddy always used to say? Uh, uh, the, show the show must, must go, go on. on. So. You be Daddy's brave little soldier and get out there onto that blooming stage and wow them. Oh. Else Mummy's going to be really cross. No, no, darling, not really. <laughs> Just a bit livid. But don't worry, Ronald. I've got something coming that'll get you and your act together in no time. You have Super Grant. Super Grant, my hypnotizer. I hope we're still in time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> no, stay there. I won't be long. You hear me? Right. <laughs> You are great again, Ronald. Do you hear me? I hear you, Super Grain. Repeat after me. There's no one like the great Rinaldo. There's no one like the great Rinaldo. See that you ass. They're waiting for me. 
Ed's my boy. You look gorgeous, darling. If only Daddy could see you now. Ladies and gentlemen of Chiseltown, the great Ronaldo has returned for an evening of astounding astonishment. <laughs> Theatre's ghost, which is never three. supposed to be haunted, right? <sighs> when this happens, it's usually a sign that something terrible is about to occur. to be a star, eh, Ronnie? <laughs> I'll have you seeing stars all right in a minute. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, sold in number seven. <laughs> Fabulous O'Finnegan now stands before me. It's Super Grange. Oh, foolish O'Finnegan. Now you're all at sea. Get back to your knitting, you woolly old windbag. This time you're too late to interfere. <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure. I have more tricks in store. On with the show! <laughs> the great <laughs> I've been away, but I'm back again now. You yeah, horrible old haggis. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen of Chiseltown, the great Ronaldo, red ring binocular, this very glass. <laughs> Sorry to be here. 
Mortimer. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, Mummy's so proud of you. If only Daddy could see you now. It's got nothing to do with me, Mum. It's down to Supergram. An inventor Black's hypnotizer. Oh, that's just not true, Ronald McDonald. You see, it got broke. Oh, Clotty Clog dropped it. I'm afraid it didn't work at all this time. You mean I... Oh, you've got your magicianship back. The great Ronaldo. Oh, super grand. How ever can we thank you? Oh, tush, tush, Ivy, that's nothing. Not a wee super grand like me. Mind you, I've often fancied having a go at this magician bit myself. <laughs> 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 Thing that she carried you.